Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna fill in these boxes so that when you add this box and then this one, you will get 15. When you multiply this one by this, you will get 12. Then when you multiply this box by this, you will get 8. And lastly, when you take this box from this one, you will get 20. So now let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna name this box as box A, this one as box B, and this C, and lastly, this box as box D. Right, so from these two boxes, we have A plus B is equal to 15. Then from these two, we have AC is equal to 12. Then from these ones, we have CD, CD is equal to 8. And lastly, from these ones, we have B minus D is equal to 20. Right, so from this equation, I'm going to make B the subject. So we have b minus d plus d is equal to 20 plus d right so that this one will cancel this so we have b is equal to 20 plus d i'm going to call this equation as my equation one right so from this one i'm going to plug this into this equation so we have a plus 20 plus d is equal to 15. So let's make a plus b the subject. So we have a plus d plus 20 minus 20 minus 20 is equal to 15 minus 20. Right. So this one will cancel this as well. So we have a plus d is equal to 15 minus 20 is negative 5. So I'll call this equation as my equation 2. Right, so from this equation, let's make C the subject. So we have AC is equal to 12. Let's divide each side of the equation by A so that this one will cancel this. So we have C is equal to 12 over A. And then from this equation, let's make C the subject as well. So we have CD is equal to 8. Let's divide each side by D so that this one will cancel this. Then C is equal to 8 over d we have c here and then c here so we can equate the both of them so we have 12 divided by a is equal to 8 divided by d right so let's cross multiply so we have 12 d is equal to 8 8 a all right so let's divide each side by 12 so that this one will cancel this then our d is equal to four goes here two so we have two a divided by then four goes here three so we have three so we have d is equal to two a over three so we can plug in the value of d into this equation so we have a plus two a over three is equal to negative five now we're gonna multiply through by three so we have 3a plus 2a is equal to negative 15. 3a plus 2a is equal to 5a, which is equal to negative 15. Now let's find the value of a by dividing each side of the equation by 5. So that this will cancel this. So our a is equal to negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. Now that we have found the value of a, we can easily find the value of c by plugging in a into this equation. So we have c is equal to 12 over negative 3. Now 12 divided by negative 3 is simply negative 4. So our c is equal to negative 4. Right. So we can easily find the value of d from this equation. So we have c is equal to 8 over d but our c is negative 4 so we have 8 over d don't forget that this one is over 1 now let's cross multiply so that you will get negative 4 d is equal to 8 since we want to find the value of d let's divide each side of the equation by negative 4 so this will take care of this so we have d is equal to 8 divided by negative 4 is equal to negative 2 right now let's find the value of b from this equation which is b is equal to 20 plus d 
Now we have B is equal to 20 plus our D is negative 2. So we have negative 2 over here. We have B is equal to 20 plus negative 2 is equal to 18. So we have A is equal to negative 3. B is equal to 18. Then C is equal to negative 4. And lastly, D is equal to negative 2. Now let's plug in the value into the boxes and check and see whether we are correct. So we have A is equal to negative 3. B is equal to 18. Then C is equal to negative 4. And lastly, D is equal to negative 2. Now let's check and see. Negative 3 times negative 4 is equal to 12, which is correct. Then we have negative 3 plus 18 is equal to 15, which is also correct. Then we have 18 minus minus 2 is equal to 20, which is also correct. Then lastly, we have negative 4 times negative 2, which is also correct, with 8. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.